Hello. Recently a friend of mine was like, oh my god, where is the moon? And they couldn't find the moon. And um, off the top of my head, I don't really know how to find the moon, where the moon is at any location. But years ago I used a program called Stellarium. Stellarium is a free open source planetarium for your computer. It shows realistic sky in 3D, just like what you see with the naked eye binoculars or telescope. Um, you can get it for Linux, Mac, or Windows. And so, on Ubuntu, the way to install things is usually System, Administration, Synaptic Package Manager, enter your password, uh, type in Stellarium. And I've already installed it, but you know, mark for installation, hit apply, it downloads and installs it, but to be honest, I never do it that way. I, d I usually just open up a terminal, it's much quicker, and go sudo apt get install then Stellarium. Like I can hit STEL double tap tab and it'll fill it out a bit more, double tap again and it'll list the options. So I'll go Stellar and oops, Stellar and hit tab and it auto completes. Um, I hit enter, it'll say, oh, ask me for my password. It'll say, oh, it's already installed the newest version. So if a new version came out, I'd just do the same thing and it would download it and install a new version. Okay, so once it's installed, I just fire it up. Uh, Applications, Science, Stellarium. And here it is. This is Stellarium. Uh, you roll the um, scroll wheel on your mouse if you have one and you hold down left click and move the mouse around to uh, I guess change the point of view but the first thing I had to do was to select my location and the way to do that is uh, you when you move your mouse down mouse pointer down here you'll get this little this menu and if you move it across to the left you get this menu as well so actually we'll start with the configuration window there uh, left click on that program language, maybe your language isn't English, um, you know, you scroll through and you'll probably see your language there, I don't, I don't really know what that is, but, um, you know, there's a lot of languages there, Chinese, I guess, Taiwan, Hong Kong, for me it's English Australia, um, there's other options here, some tools. You can download more packs of stars, which is pretty cool. There's scripts. You run these scripts. It'll sort of take you through a like a 3D um, show of the different landscapes, or it'll give you a tour of all the zodiac signs or whatever you run those. Plugins. You know, you could if you have a telescope, you can connect your telescope to this program. I don't really know anything about that. Okay, so the main thing here was select your language and then we come back here. Um, I want to select my location. Location window. Okay, so here you've got to select your location to, you know, see what's happening real time. So for me it was Brisbane. I just type in Brisbane. Whoops. Uh, Brisbane, select Brisbane Australia, and there it is, just hit OK, close the window, oh, you don't have to hit OK, just close the window, OK, and the question was, where is the moon, and it was a bit earlier, so it was a bit lower, but if I select the moon, one cool thing you can do is say, center on selected object, and if I scroll all the way in, I can actually see the moon, and you can do that for, um, like planets and other things, like if I select Saturn uh, center on selected object and check it out, there's Saturn uh, okay that's really awesome and there's a few other cool options down here constellation lines constellation labels constellation art even that looks pretty cool Uh, equatorial grid. Oh, that looks hard to pronounce. Azimuthal grid. I don't really know. 
okay, we'll turn that off. You can turn the ground off as well, and then you can pretty much it's like 360 degrees. But okay, we'll turn that back on, and I'll turn all this stuff off. The ground, the cardinal points, you know, north, south, east, west, atmosphere, nebulous. Well, that adds quite a lot to the sky. Planet labels. Oh, equatorial and the other one. Uh, night mode. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, full screen, I'm in full screen now. Okay, but the question was, where is the moon? Well, there's the moon there. And I guess it's roughly east between south and east and since we're using this program on our computer if you don't have a compass just go to Google Maps or something look for where you are obviously um, up the top there's north so you could figure out which way you need to look to find the moon just by using the map and looking at the streets or whatever okay so the moon's hard to see now so I'm wondering is the moon going to be higher in the sky so that I can actually see it perhaps a bit later? It's 10 o'clock now, so you can do this cool thing. Set the time to now, the time's now, normal time rate, time speed. Okay, so I'll, I'll increase the time speed until it's kind of moving. Alright, so we're going through time now. We'll see if we can go a bit faster without things getting crazy. Alright, it's coming up to midnight. It's getting higher. I'll just decrease the speed for a second. Zoom back out. Alright, 2 a.m. 3 a.m. 4 a.m. 5 a.m. here comes the sun. So the moon's actually still in the sky while the sun's up. Here we are. Almost 9 a.m. tomorrow morning and the moon will be up there and the sun's up. So what was the highest point? Let's see if we can go backwards. We'll actually come back to now. There it is now. We'll see when it's at its highest point. We'll just try to figure that out. Well, it's pretty high. That's what, 2.30 a.m. I can't really see myself staying up till 2.30 to see the moon at its highest point. Well, that wasn't the highest point. Here we go. Bam, right there. That's pretty close. That's 4 a.m. Four thirty. So between 4 and 5 it looks like it would be at its highest point. Anyway, so that's the question, where is the moon, how to find the moon, and I guess you could even see uh, the path of the moon. Um, and look at that, Mars, hang on, let's have a look at that. Mars comes above the horizon as well. Oh, but look at the sun, how nasty that sun is. Where did Mars go? Oh, Venus. Not sure what happened there. Anyway. Anyway, that's um, Stellarium. Very uh, interesting program. Very awesome for learning. I'm sure I could learn a lot from using Stellarium. Or, and um, well, that's because I have a lot to learn. Okay, um, thanks a lot. Uh, I hope you'll check it out and it's useful if you want to know about the moon and um, the planets and things like that. Uh, happy learning!